my wife and I are about to hit the road to do two weeks of traveling in a camper van uh, that gives reasonably good gas mileage and I'm going to buy probably 30 to 50 trees to be planted uh, to offset our travel time. But um, I'm reaching out to you because some of you may be connecting with us because of Heart of a Building. And I think at this time, uh, with this crazy year we've been having, it's going to be really important for everybody to try and find time, spend time with their loved ones and spend time in nature, honestly, and also spend time connecting with, uh, even with COVID going on, spending time connecting with people you know, in a socially distanced way and with masks on, but meeting new people. And that's part of what uh, my wife and I hope to do as we wind our way towards the Grand Canyon uh, during these next two weeks, but also spend time in small towns, um, you know, going to their grocery stores, buying food, you know, at the restaurants, um, you know, somehow trying to help infuse for them a little bit of economic, you know, influx, but also just having those chance conversations to meet people and, uh, you know, things I love when you just, you know, bump into somebody, have a conversation about their lives, the weather, you know, hopefully not politics right now, but, <laughs> um, you know, but just connect and spend time together. Um, but aside from this, aside from letting you know that this is what we're doing, I hope all of you can find some time to do this in the not too distant future um, to be able to, you know, get some freedom, get, get away, spend time in nature and spend time with people that you care about. Um, I also wanted to just give a little tip, and that's why I hope to do over these kind of interspersed over the next two weeks is send out just little uh, energy efficiency or overall sustainability tips. Since I've been at this for a quarter of a century, I've got lots of ideas to share um, and know that they work because <laughs> we've been doing it for a long time in, in buildings, making them more energy efficient. So a couple key things. I jot down a few notes here. Um, you know, big thing when it comes to energy efficiency is to make sure that unlike the, the kind of spontaneous trip that Michelin and I are taking, that you actually devise a plan. Um, there's a lot of people I've worked with over the years that you know, they may replace the windows in their home or do major systems upgrades to mechanical systems in their commercial building or, you know, even put solar on top of a multifamily building. And they just kind of like threw that out there. Well, if you don't have a plan to know like how efficient you are now and how efficient you could be, you're, you're gonna kind of be meandering <laughs> um, on your way to the Grand Canyon, but just kind of meandering and you may not find your way to your destination. So have an energy audit done of your home, have an energy audit done of your multifamily or commercial building, um, you know, for homes, there's many programs through utilities across the country that pay down much of, or sometimes all of the cost of doing that. And go have that done if you haven't. Um, and for commercial buildings and multifamily, there's programs as well that oftentimes buy down the cost of that as well. But just search in your area, energy audits, um, residential or energy audits, multifamily or energy audits, commercial, and you'll find companies that are available and the utilities oftentimes can help you um, find qualified contractors to do that work as well. Um, but you want to have that plan so you know, is there a problem with my air tightness? You know, they'll do blower door tests and infrared camera scans. Is there a problem with my insulation um, by doing inspections and the infrared camera scans? Um, is, there, is there problems with my windows? Is there problems with my HVAC system after there's you know, more detailed testing done? Um, on that. So, and, and, you know, lighting and, you know, appliances or other, you know, office equipment if it's a commercial building, you know, have, have someone be your guide, have someone be your building doctor. And that's what an energy auditor really can be. So take advantage of that. Um, I'll just say, you know, a big thing you know, as you think about energy efficiency, think of that as your starting place before you get into doing things with solar or even with indoor air quality, because it will also address comfort if you look at energy efficiency and how to improve that. 
Um, it'll make it all those things come together better. And you'll be doing a really cool thing for the rest of us and for nature. <laughs> so the rest of the humans, the rest of living beings, you know, plants, things like that. Why you'll be doing that is that in our country, uh, buildings consume in the United States, buildings consume you know forty percent of the energy approximately that we need and generate. And still with a large amount of that coming from fossil fuels, there's a lot of pollution associated with that. Um, and that's the part that's been unfortunately the unintended consequence of having you know these great ways of extracting you know fossilized um, highly energy intense products such as petroleum and natural gas and coal. Um, but the unintended consequence was that these as we burned it, it's done, tremendous impact and really a harmful impact you know, on the natural cycle of how carbon dioxide, how nitrogen oxide, how um, methane, how those things circulate through the atmosphere and are absorbed or not. And we've just put so much of it up into that, that nature, mother nature, you know, the balance of it has gotten askew. And you doing things to make your home or building more energy efficient are a great way for, for you as an individual or a small group of people or a company to make a difference. Because when you start with that energy audit, understand your energy efficiency challenges and then get improvements made to your building, hopefully in, in short order, you know, like in the next year would be awesome. <laughs> You're being a part of reducing that impact on the environment. And then if you go further and look at adding renewable energy or diving deeper into helping larger communities improve their efficiency, you make a tremendous impact. So I'm gonna stop with that because it's getting pretty long, but um, my wife and I, are, and I are hitting the road tomorrow and I'll send future video blogs out just saying hi and hopefully showing you some beautiful views of where we're at, um, but just also giving some messages They'll connect to other ways that you can be more sustainable, um, you know, in your life and easy things that you can do. Um, we're going to soon be posting like 10 easy things you can do in your home and 10 easy things you can do in your uh, commercial buildings. Or we've got one, you know, 10 easy things you can do in your home. But then we have 12 easy things that you can do to just combat climate change, you know, on a larger scale. So beyond just the home or buildings things that you can do in your overall life to make a big impact of being a part of the solution um, on the human cause side of climate change. So enough said, um, look forward to talking to you. Follow us, if you would, please, via you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, and by going to our website at www.heartofabuilding.com. Look forward to hearing back from you guys. Send us messages on what you're doing to make uh, your daily lives more sustainable. And I hope these energy efficiency thoughts about having an energy audit um, help you take some steps. All right, take care, bye.